This video will demonstrate how to tune the beam on the G-Station. At the station we currently use two side-by-side -side displays. One display is connected to the computer that gives access to the Mars CCD control software. The other display is connected to the Mars CCD computer and shows Mars CCD and Apex controls. We are currently logged into the Mars CCD and Apex control computer. For our convenience, I have exported the MD2 control software screen here for us to see what we would see with uh, on the two displays. The third screen here is the image from the camera that looks at the beam or the crystal and this image corresponds what we normally see on the sample camera panel of the MD2 software. The Apex controls can be opened here by clicking on the icon with the station name or by typing the station name in the terminal at the terminal window. Here is the main menu of Apex controls. Under the tool buttons we can find user control screen that currently is called new cheat sheet. Here it is. Before your arrival to the station the beam is tuned by the LSCAT staff. You need just to check if intensity corresponds to the maximum. You can tweak the second crystal of the monochromator. I will try to do it. Okay, intensity goes down. We will go back. Okay, it seems like maximum intensity is 900. 9400 Okay, here it is. To check if the beam goes through the center of the uh, MD2 diffractometer, it is necessary to go to the beam location, to switch to the beam location mode. We click on the button. You need to wait a little bit. Okay. To see the beam, the scintillator crystal should be in the beam. And capillary and aperture. Which is better to move out for us to see the whole beam. Now we can open the fast shutter that is located in front of the MD2 diffractometer. Okay. Here is the here is the beam. We can increase zoom a little bit. Okay, here is the beam. We cannot see the cross uh, in the center of the image, which we normally see. You see, this is the center at the sample camera panel of the MD2 software. But we will believe that the center of the screen is the center of the MD2 diffractometer. Currently, uh, the monochromator energy is 7 kiloelectron volts. Suppose we would like to go to the selenium H uh, to 12.66 kiloelectron volts. For this purpose, we need to use the change energy program. We need to put the new energy position here. 
and press the start button. In order to change the energy, it is necessary to move several devices. Uh, to move monochromator to energy uh, 12.66, to move undulator to the energy 12.76, because between uh, monochromator and undulator energy there is offset one of 100 electron volts. This is the difference in energy calibration at LSCAT and the APS. Um, also mirrors lanes will be chain, uh, changed and uh, several parameters of the monochromator uh, will be optimized pitch and data break of the second crystal. Beam has disappeared because right now the energy is still changing and we need to wait a little bit. This indicator, which became yellow, shows us that something is moving. Okay. The beam appeared, has appeared on the screen. Okay, it's closer now. Let us wait for a couple of more seconds. Okay, here it is. Now the pitch of the second crystal is tuned. Actually, uh, a scan is done, and we will see that the beam intensity goes through the peak. Okay, here is the peak. Okay, pitch will be returned back to the position of the maximum. Okay, now the angle of the second crystal is tuned. Okay, it's done. After the change energy procedure finishes its work, the beam can be off uh, the center and we need to bring, in, uh, bring it to the center back. For this purpose, uh, we will use the center of the beam procedure. You can see a small remark here, beam must be visible wi while this program is working because the program actually uses the image uh, while it's working. Okay, we can press start. You see beam is moving. What is moving actually is the table under the MD2 diffractometer or mirror angles, reflection angles can be uh, tweaked. Currently actually the table is moving. The program asks us are we satisfied with this work or would like to cancel the result of the f the work, uh, this work. Okay, we can answer OK. And it is the we are done with the centering of the beam. We can check how well the beam goes through the aperture and capillary. Let us move. Let us move the aperture into the beam. Okay, pretty good. And then capillary. Okay, we are done with tuning the beam on the D station.